the general store clerk in Rhodes. Oh, it's only $20. That's still half of the shit I have. Okay, in the park across from the tailors, here. It's not bad? Okay. Man, I was just in Rhodes. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna do this. We're gonna go see Sadie, and then... Okay. You You're fuckers okay. do whatever you want. I'm... You... It might need to be the daytime. Okay, maybe we'll come back. I thought maybe you were Trelawney. This is the park, yeah? Coward. Interesting. On the street. Pardon me. With the tracks. I don't see anybody. These benches? Oh. What the hell? Hey, move it. Nope, that's a stranger. Not here, okay. I did not know I could ride the trolley. Okay, that's all right. We'll go... Where is Sadie again? Oh, she's all the way in Blackwater. And I can't... I don't have any fucking money. Okay, we gotta get out of San Denis. Let's go here. But I can't uh Oh wait, I can. I can, I can, I can. I can sleep. Is it this one that has the rooms? I don't know where anything is in this godforsaken fucking city. Oh, I think I can sleep here. These cowboys, I'm tired of them riding through the streets. Logic. Rent a room. I'd like a room for the night. How are you? Okay, room is all set. Just head upstairs it's when you're ready. It's been trying a few days. Great. Oh, vous m'envoyez navré. Super, 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 super close. This is great. Where's my room? Oh, it's gonna be a real fancy room for just a dollar. I'm fine. Nope. Nope. Let's sleep till noon. <sighs> oh my god, you can see the line on my forehead. <sighs> Andy. Too soon. It could be any day and it would be too soon. I should have done this when I had COVID. I mean, I could start coughing. Bonjour. Bonjour. All right, let's go see this person Hello, sir. on the bench. Anything. Please. You. Yeah. Please. Coin. Please. Here. Please. Get yourself some food. Sir, 
I want you to have this. Thanks, friend. Well, thanks. A special it's snake nice oil. To give something instead of just begging. I hate asking for money like a goddamn worm. Groveling here in the dirt. You? Nope. How do you do? I'd be better if I could find this person that chat told me I could find. Excuse me. Chat. No. Nope. How do you do? Just tell me who I'm looking for. And I'll decide if I want to keep looking. Who am I looking for? Okay. You're not Tilly. Hello. I don't know where she is. To leave and come back. But I slept a whole night. Oh, that's the law, man. Okay. I'm gonna go. We're just gonna continue with the story mission. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot Mary Beth was in her underwear. Fuck. <laughs> I forgot about that. Um, we're gonna- we're just gonna continue with the story mission and I'll try and come back later during the day but uh tom were you here when we met charles because we've done that we went home we tore down our house and that's basically all we've done i need to go buy a house from a catalog and then find sadie so we have a lot to do <laughs> and it's nine o'clock can we do it in two hours We are close to Rhodes General Store. Rhodes is the other way. Fine. We'll do this. Wait. Fuck. 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 We'll do Rhodes. Yes, you can go watch that on the VOD. How's your backyard look? Okay, John, come on. Pedal to the metal. Okay, Let's go. Like the wind. <laughs> Who's my guess as to who is in Rhodes? Karen, maybe? Bill? Those are the two that we haven't seen yet, and Micah. But I'm hoping Micah's a story mission and I get to shoot him in the face. But my money's on... Karen? Karen or Bill? If people try and rob me here, I'm just gonna run. I'm missing though. Javier, maybe? I gotta pay my bounty. Though in truth, this man deserves no earthly respect from us. As a sign of respect to our creator, we pay respect to the dead. <laughs> Oh, Father, what do we 
say about a man who lost his way? Why did I get off my fucking horse so soon? All right. Who do we think it is? John Marston? <gasps> I don't believe it! I thought you were dead. Pearson. Pearson. What are you doing here? <laughs> Welcome to my store. How can I help you? <laughs> are you serious? Yeah. Beats the old butcher's table, doesn't it? Forgot so about him. For you today, sir? How the hell are you? Pretty good. Got some land in Great Plains. Is Trying it on this line outside? Go. Really? I'll have to look. Wow, good for you. Staying out of trouble then? I uh, wouldn't go that far, but I'm trying. Woo! What a turn up for the books, huh? All right, let's try and sell some things. So I can. I need to be able to afford my bounty. <laughs> I don't really have a lot. Oh. <gasps> Wait, I have Mary's... ring? Ow, that's sad. Simon Pearson. All right. Good on you. Good on you, Pearson. Okay, I gotta pay my bounty. How do you do, sir? Fine, thank you. Get out of my way. Back to work. Or I can hire a whole new crew. Hello. Uh, pay my bounty. Hmm, I thought you were sweating a little. It was half my fucking money. We've had quite enough of your kind here. Shut up. You don't know me. Excuse me. Uh. Stagecoach, fastest in the county. And then this. Give me a ride. So, where to? Oh, Blackwater. Oh my god. Oh my money. You want to get comfortable. Oh, does he? Damn it. I'll have to go and look. I got to figure out a way to make my money back. I owe so much money to the bank. Oh, are we not? We're not moving. Oh, there we go. Thanks for that, friend. Safe travels. All my money. Howdy. 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 Oh, Sadie. Where is she? Hola. Pitch the horse. Don't chew your reins off, Missy. Also, where did things say I could buy a house? Like from a catalog at the general store? Bets are closed. Let's Hello, begin. Sadie. Oh, John. <laughs> Come sit down. I like that she's just got sure. her fucking gun you, on the uh, table. You got any work? Yeah. Well, there's always work. Whole country's getting robbed, robbing, or stopping robbers. Well, seems like there ain't much else in this world except bastards, victims of bastards, and the bastards who want to put the bastards in the ground. And which are you, exactly? Me? <laughs> in my time, all three. But, same as most people. I guess. Funny thing about this job, well, opportunity, 
I just might get to be all three again. How you mean? <clears throat> you ever heard of uh, Shane Finley? Cattle wrestler? Murderer, thief, child killer. Oh. He's wanted in five states. I caught him last week. So were we he once upon a time. As a lady in a house for fallen women. <laughs> I was bringing him in and I got robbed by a professional rival of mine, James Langton. Oh, he's a nasty bastard. I didn't much like him even before he robbed me. That happened a lot. This line of work. Yeah, but they're all people like me. Anyway, now they're holed up in the desert down south, waiting to head north so they can hand them in to the state troopers in the north country. I'd given up on the job as just a bad lot, but now that you're here, maybe we can go rob them back. Is the money good? Yeah, it's real good. Oh, good. Plus, good. I don't much like getting robbed by no one. Come on. Where is it we're heading again, you say? Mm. South. Now, come on. Mount up. We got a ride ahead of us. Of course we do. Oh, that's Sadie's horse. You're a good filly. The coloring on her horse oh, makes it look like... Ride. Yes, ma'am. It's like... Yuck. Got... What is it? Mange? That new horse? Some folk buy ranches, some buy horses. Horses are cheaper. He looks mean. He is. My ranch? It's something else, you know. You gotta come up there. He ain't had any trouble. Some squatters, but that's it for the most part. It sure that's is good. something else. Maybe these fellers I heard about have stayed north or gone off somewhere else or dropped down dead in their own tracks. It's good country. All country is good. It's just folk that are bad. You know who I got up there with me? Uncle. Besides uncle. Abigail? Uh, Abigail ain't come there just yet. Really? You, er, wanna talk about it? <laughs> well, maybe, but Charles Smith. We found Charles Smith. Charles? He's alive? Yeah. He's doing okay. He was prize fighting and I really should have bet on Charles. Or seeming too well. He took everything real hard. But I think life on the plains is gonna be good for him. I always like Charles. <laughs> you send him my best. I will. You know you can come along too. Build a cabin on the land. <gasps> a commune. All before. Can't do it again. I'm on my own now, John. I, I ain't so good with people. Uh, the offer's there. Whenever you want it. That's kind. Unlikely to be taken up, but kind. You heard anything of Dutch? Nothing. You? No. You'd think. He's a colorful character. Word would get out. That's one way of putting it. Oh, you know who didn't get? Look, what happened with the gang changed everyone who was a part of it. The Dutch who put a blanket around me after the O'Driscolls, that weren't the same man at Beaver Hollow. Nope. And now, he might not be so colorful no more. You see a man whose character changed. I see a man who got found out for who he truly was. We was fools to follow him. I was a fool and I paid for it. And I was one of the lucky ones. Micah, John. Micah's the one who set it off. I blame me for following Dutch for too long, but I blame Micah for most everything else. He's I really hope I get to shoot him. And someday, I hope we'll find him. But uh, not now. I Come on. Shoot him. I was going to say something, but I forget. What was I going to say? What about Dutch? There's a spot. 
spot up ahead where we can see over most of the country. They'll be down there. So, James Langton, the bounty hunter, has got this outlaw you captured in a women's boarding house? Shane Finley, correct. And we aim to have Langton give him back to us before he rides north with him to hand him over to some state troopers? Correct again. Though the giving back part is optimistic. I'm forever the optimist. The music is getting intense. This is the place. It's a view, all right. Aww. Come on, let's go take a look down in the valley. Sharing mine. I think I see something. Yup. There they are. Down there. Who's who? Well, the bounty is the feller who's all tied up. <laughs> Very funny. <laughs> and that big fat feller with the funny hat, that's James Langton. The other fellas just work for him. Where do you think they're heading? Uh, come on. Let's go follow them. All right, let's go. Rachel's pooping. Back on your horse. Let's get after them. I am. I'm trying. You're not even near your horse, Sadie. Relax. Looks like they're cutting through the canyon underneath us. Let's go. We'll be coming through here. And so what, we're just gonna snipe them? Or are we going down? Easy. There they are. We follow and keep an eye on them. God. Oh my gosh, doors. Yeah. I like Sadie because she talks to herself. We can get a better look at him. You know his thinking pretty well. Hmm? If you can't outgun them, you gotta outthink them. We're real close to the edge there, Sadie. Opens up down a ways. We'll head them off there. Thank you, mashed potato. That was the point. This might be our chance. Oh, good. It gave me my sniper yeah, rifle. They're stopping. And that sure is Shane Finley coming off the back of his horse. What are they waiting for? Over there. Mm, the rest of Langton's men, I think. Don't. John, don't Langton's fall. Langton's doing pretty well for himself. How come he's got all them men and you work alone? I got you. You're worth ten of them. <laughs> Great. All right, so what you think? Should we threaten them? Start shooting at them or sneak down and pick them off one by one? I reckon sneaking down is our best opportunity, but uh, it's your call. What? It's your job, dude. Uh, Let's sneak. I'll follow your lead. Let's sneak down there. Okay, well, follow away. Stay down and stay close. Let's go. 
Where are we going? We're going down the canyon. Look out on these rocky paths. Oh, should I get my knife out? Two guys below us. Let's get closer. Oh. We can't go around them. You take one of them, I'll take the other. You gotta throw a knife. You gotta throw a knife at his neck. Nicely done. Okay. <laughs> wait, 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 can you guys just, hold on, can you see for a second? Can you see? Can you, can you see? Can you see, can you see where we both threw the knives? <laughs> you gotta throw a knife in its neck. Okay, so I did. I did. I did. You can see the knife in his neck. <laughs> see? Threw it in his head. <laughs> oh, fuck me. Oh, I should have looted those other bodies. Do I have my bow? Look out, Sadie, they're on to us. What the fuck? I was gonna try and Where are you shooting, Sadie? There's more of them. I'm on the ridge. Boom. I don't take it easy. They're all out of the basic. Over here. Uh oh. I get shot right in the face. Oh, up there. Where? I don't understand where they're shooting me from. Fuck me. How does this guy have so many dudes? Yeah. I don't know where they're shooting from. Oh, God damn it. Oh, he's dead now. Oh god, I'm gonna die. Oh god, I'm gonna die! Right. 
What? Let's get to the bottom of this. Jesus Christ. I guess I fucked that up. Oh, John, what's happening to your hands, bro? I hope Sadie doesn't die while I'm looting. <laughs> I fucking called that by accident. <laughs> <laughs> Let's try that again. It's your call. Oh, are you kidding me? I'll follow your lead. Let's sneak down there. Okay. Well, follow away. Stay down and stay close. Let's go. Wait, do I have Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We are doing this. I know. Do I have Together. I want this. I want my sniper rifle. Hey, close. Shut up, Sadie. We're going down the canyon. Look out on these rocky paths. Okay, can't let Sadie die this time. At least she got him in the back this time. Oh no, still in the hand. Oh, maybe I should have got my bow. Whoops. Didn't realize Sadie was getting her shit rocked. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> okay. But, uh, it's your call. I'll follow your lead. Let's sneak down there. Okay. Well, follow away. Stay down and stay close. Let's go. We are doing this together. I should have just picked them off. I guess you can't. Oh, I should have got my bow. We're going down the canyon. Look out on these rocky paths. Got them both. That 
love that he falls all the way off the mountain. Where's this other guy? Oh, over here. Oh. Sadie, don't die. Shit, 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 what, John? Now you have. Did she just say you're farting in the wind? Jesus Christ. I can't see shit. Oh my god. I think we got a window to get out of here. We need our horses. I know that. Oh, I sh shot him. Huh. Look at him here, dead. <laughs> That's what you get for robbing me, Langton. Oops. I shot the bounty. Let's get Finley. Get him out of here. Okay, you're taking Finley. Let's go. Get him on your horse. All this for a corpse? Come on. Whoopsies. No! 
me. <laughs> hey, I've been here and read that online. Then I think we might be free of Ride for it. Oh my god. <laughs> John and Rachel almost hit a boulder. Glad that cutscene kicked in. Dominoes with the horses. Are you going to speak? I don't know. There's really much to say. <laughs> you ain't gone soft in these years, have you? Do I? Hey, wait. I need to eat. You soft? What's gotten into you? Finley's dead. Langton's dead. His men. You ain't getting robbed no more, so... Listen, John. I have to stick up for myself. No one else will. They were bad men. I know. I know. The truth is, I might be more cut out for this work than ranching. Or having a family. Man, oh, John, no, John. Too. That ain't the truth, John. You're gonna be an old man on your porch with grandkids around. Just... You gotta pay for it, is all. I don't know With eleven dollars to his name. I get these thoughts. Yeah, that's what the drink is for, or fishing, or anything. You're strong enough to handle it. I hope I am. Sometimes in the past, that ain't always been the case. Well, I'll be. Uh oh. Padre mia. Oh. Coming up on the jailhouse. Because I got a dead body on the back of my car. I mean, my horse. Read that bounty poster right. We'll see. Kikarajos. Goddamn savages. Bring him and put him on a bed. Sheriff can call the undertaker if he wants to. Whoopsies. Shane Finley. Well, what's left? Yes, he does. Come on. Door must be open to all kinds of ugly today. Well, it certainly looks like him. Shame. I was looking forward to watching you swing. Throw him out back, would you? I thought you said you lost him. Well, I did, but we got him back. Oh, and James Langton's dead. <clears throat> we killed him. Why'd you do a thing like that? It was him that robbed me. Okay. <laughs> Here. Here, there's a decent price on Finley. Mm-hmm, I know. <laughs> uh. You want oh. this money to go to the bank, too? Uh-oh. Jeez, Louise. No, I'll, uh, I'll take it myself. <laughs> okay, Jim Milton. It's John Marston here. All right, well... If you need any more work, you can find me in town. Or maybe I'll find you. I'm retired. Sure. <clears throat> Be well, John. Oh, $150! Amazing! AC. Who's AC? Is this my horse? Hey. Albert Cakes. Oh. Why does Charles have his shotgun out? Wonder how much this house is gonna cost. Bet you it's a hundred and fifty dollars. Betcha I don't have enough money for it. Now why are you what raising you hell on me? 
I'm not nothing. I'm just trying to walk by and you're in my way. Hello, Zach. As God is my witness, I thought turkeys could fly. Excuse me, sir. You work here? No, I just hang around here for fun. <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking. How can I help you, friend? I know this sounds crazy. Some dumb old coot, I know, is telling me there's these houses you can buy pre-cut. <laughs> Not crazy, friend. The very latest in modern convenience. Convenient and cost efficient. Which house do you want? What? Each one is entirely unique, but also the same. Excuse me? Perhaps I'm going too fast, sir. Do you want to buy a house? I think so. I'll give you a luxurious, entirely unique pre-cut palace. And if you order today, I guarantee your home in a matter of weeks maybe sooner I'll take that one ah yes we have that one in stock and i already got credit from the bank oh fantastic now you write your name here and uh you sign your name there oh no and you will be the proud owner of a factory built home it's that easy pleasure to meet you mr martin albert cakes esquire at your service you boys give me a minute what are you doing here? Everything okay? I'm not sure. Probably. A fella came by the farm. Got attacked on the road. He said the Skinner brothers was hanging around. Lots of them. I left Uncle armed to the teeth back at the ranch. Who are these two? Guns for hire. If they're Skinner's about, we need them. We ain't got that kind of money, Charles. You want to get robbed for your house? No, but... Hey, these Skinner's gonna be nasty. Uh-oh. Come on. Mr. Devin, you're with me. Mr. Wayne, this is... Milton. Jim Milton. Sir, good to meet you. We're gonna be heading up to the Manzanita Post. Why? The best smith around is that Norwegian fella up there. So they say. You boys ready? Yes, sir, we're ready. Good, because you're about to get shot at over a goddamn hammer. You want to build a house with a sniper rifle, then? I know old Neil's real well. I'll get you a good deal. Thank you, sir. All right, then. Let's go buy us some tools. I have no idea what's happening. I know the quickest way. Follow me. I will follow wherever you go, Charles. A lot of wood. This is how much wood's probably going to be delivered to my backyard next week. For the deck. Say, is your friend a Negro or a red skin? I will murder you. Uh, I think a bit of both for what it's worth. Cash is cash. That was all the same to me. I saw you getting skittish there, but don't you worry. We're not getting shot at. Oh, yeah. I know Charles Smith. If he's got cause to be concerned, it's usually good cause. You got a shotgun messenger sitting right beside you, all right? Now, suppose you don't know much about robbing caravans. Not much, I guess. <laughs> no. Well, nor do I. We're redoing our deck but I next know week. I thing or two about protecting them. And if a robber sees some strong men sitting up front, two of them guns for hire, then they're gonna wait for the next set of fools to come on through. I don't think that's yes, true, actually. I mean, they're carrying something valuable instead of pre-cut timber and some tools. What? No. Wait, look, trust me on this. You are overthinking it. You hire a gun, you hire peace of mind and a deterrence. I don't think so. So I'll sit here looking big and scary you can concentrate on the horses. All right. I'll do just that. Maybe I've done this kind of thing before. And maybe I can handle a weapon. But I'm not so different from you, partner. I think you might be. <laughs> hey, we're taking the next right up towards Manzanita Post. What were you saying? People wonder how you can handle it. Living by a gun. But it's the same as any other occupation, really. When I get home, I put my gun on the rack and it stays there. I mean it, it, it really stays there. I don't even think about it. My mind's on my wife and the little ones. 
I'm chopping wood, mending the roof, putting the kids to bed. But when I'm out here, I'm watching the tree line. I got my gun at the ready. And I'm trying to make my employer as comfortable as possible. That's, uh, real good of you. You're in good hands. I know this country well. Good. Am I finally gonna meet this tool maker? Now, Niels, he's an acquired taste, but boy, can he work metal. Norwegian, you see? Viking blood. Fellas up there used to worship a god with a hammer. Guess I figures they'd still be making them. I'm not sure how much English he speaks, but Niels knows tools. This is the spot, just up ahead. Okay. I've been here. You boys wait here. After you, Mr. Milton. In Red Dead Online 2. Like I said, Nils is a, an acquired taste. <laughs> Nils. Nils, it's me. It's Willard Wayne. Okay. This is my associate, Jim Milton. Okay. He heard you was the best, best smith around. He needs some tools. He's building a ranch house up at Beecher's Hope. Beecher's Hope, okay. Have you got any made? Uh, okay. Like I said, an acquired taste, but a heart of gold, and he's the best. You off someplace, Nils. Okay. Is he coming with me? So Milton is uh, working with Cakes Hardwood and Timber in town. Should I get them to pay you and add it to his bill up there? Okay. Come on, <laughs> let's get moving. Okay. <sighs> okay. <laughs> All right then. Features hope. They've been trying to sell that property for some time, haven't they? Took a look at it myself, as it so happens. It seemed like a lot of work. Too much for me. But this guy talks a lot. Me. Must have seen something in it I couldn't. World needs. <gasps> I fucking saw that. Coming a mile away. Everyone find some cover! God fucking damn it. <gasps> Look at them all on the map. God damn. Keep your head down. What the hell is going on? You okay? Oh god. Oh my god. Oh god. We hit the mother law. They're pulling back. Come on. I'm not going to keep my chest to you. All right. Jesus Christ. Now, Mr. Devin, you okay? Yes. Got the last of them? I think so. There's more. They got the tools. They grab Mr. Wayne. Alright, you stay here, guard the wagon. Charles, come on! Mr. Devin! Mr. Devin! Mr. Milton! Mr. Smith! Help me! They got me! Help! Help me! 
Are you fucking shitting me right now? Oh my god, they're in the trees? Hey, they climbed up in the trees! Shoot the ones up there first! Peace is in the grave! You see him? High up in the branches! Where? I can't see shit! They're still up there! Oh, the right there. I guess I could have just looked on my fucking map for my radar. Are you shitting me right now? We've come the right way. The bushes. They're on top of us. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh my god. Oh my god, how are there so many of them? Oh my god. How? Oh god! You lost something? We cleared them. Keep going. Where's Wayne? It's too quiet. Mr. White! Mr. White! Wanted to loot him. Charles, I found the tools. <gasps> now, where's Mr. Oh my god. Back to the road. God damn it. A few minutes ago he was chewing my ear off. He knew what he was getting into. Did he? Skinners. Everyone knows. Except me. <laughs> Later, John. Jesus Christ. I've never right, seen that man. many bad guys. I got it. There's no use in you getting bloody too. Is he... Is it... Bad? They opened him up pretty good. Uh, nearly chopped his head in two. God damn them. Uh-huh. Mr. Wayne didn't make it. Dear Lord, no. We have to get out of here. You take him in the back wagon. Come on, help me. Oh my god. All right. Let's get out of here. Why did we have to take all the lumber with us to go get the tools? Why couldn't we have brought the lumber home? Come on. We got to go. Shit. Those goddamn animals. Okay. John, I'm riding with you. So many bodies to loot. Get us back to beaches. Those were the Skinner brothers. I told you I was worried. Sadie said something too. What kind of land have I bought? It's not the land. The Skinners move around. They're here for now. I thought this... This kind of bloodshed was meant to be over with. What was all the nonsense about civilization? This kind of bloodshed? It's different. Folks have been killed, sure. For good reason and bad. But rarely just for the fun of it. That was fun for them? No. Not that time. 
Most folk don't usually put up with such a fight. Uncle! Ay, ay, ay. Uncle! Oh my god, he was fucking Uncle! asleep. You useless sack of crap. I was keeping guard. Really? Ooh. What happened? Skinner Brothers. Bottom? Enough. Once this is done, I'll take Mr. Devon back to town. I'm gonna pull Mr. Wayne buried. Okay. Be careful. Oh, I will. But I'm fairly sure we scared him off for now. Are they yeah, unloading maybe. one by one? Well, we'll be safe together. Sure. That's gonna so. take forever! <laughs> Oh my god. And John, I love you. Don't you forget that. I meant to shave his face, but I keep forgetting. Eight hundred dollars. Morning. Charles, I miss you. I love you. Do I have anything to cook? Oh, I do. Uh, let's stow that. Let's cook another, and I'll eat that one. Oh, I don't like the sound of him eating. I do not have anything else to eat. I need to go hunting. Charles, I mean, Charles. John needs to go hunting. All right, let's see what Uncle wants. Those plans make any sense? Oh, sure. Seems easy enough, I think. How hard can it be? <laughs> Wait, Uncle's gonna but build the house? What I think, just a four-bedroom house. I'll do the reading and planning, and you do the building. How did I know you'd try to weasel out of doing any work? Oh, now, that is plain unfair. It, it's inaccurate and not what's gonna happen. I'm simply gonna use what I've got, which is a brain. No. Are you use what you Arthur got? and Charles, not John and Charles. <laughs> Let's get started. Well, first thing is says the foundation. Charles is in mourning. Which involves moving those heavy wooden joists. Definitely not a job for a man with terminal lumbago unless you want to dig a six foot deep hole for me when the work day's over. Don't tempt me. Oh, well, here comes Charles. Maybe he can lighten the mood a little. How'd you get on? I'll be back, but not for it a while. It is Charles, like an IKEA boy. house. John Hello, one love. Moving these joists. Now come on. Get a move on. We gotta get started. Charles' the little smile. Come. I love Charles so annoying. much. He's right. We should get on with this. Use your feet, boys. Lift with your knees, not your back. Hey, Joseph. You well, look kind of hot in that shirt. In Do you want to take your uh, shirt off there, Charles? I'll climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail now, nail it. Well, we worked so hard. This is a big house. house together. In the 
snow or the rain or the ice cold wind whenever no matter <gasps> a blue jay what the weather we're together Oh my god, his hair is so long, he looks like Arthur! I'm gonna cry! Oh my god, look! Definitely took forever. <gasps> oh, John, put your shirt back on, please. <laughs> no, wrong person taking off their shirt. John, you're so skinny. No, oh, Charles, you take off your shirt. No, not uncle. Oh, that's better, John. Now cut Climb up a ladder with a hammer and a nail Now nail it Well, we worked so hard to build a little house together In the snow or the rain or the ice cold wind Whenever No matter Any weather We're together What in the hell? <laughs> Nice house. Oh my god, he has to put the shingles in one at a time. When we bought the house, it sounded like they were gonna put it all together for me. Prefab. <gasps> Are we done? And I think that's everything. Oh my god. <laughs> John Marston, you have a home. So do you. Oh, I know. And you, Charles, as long as you'll stay with us. Thank you. <laughs> Gentlemen, to this happy home. Well, at least till this fool gets his woman back. <laughs> My darling Abigail, I hope you and Jack are doing well. I remain a fool, and I'm sure I shall die a fool. But I'm trying very hard to be something like the man you deserve. I have done something very silly in an effort to impress you, and that is I've purchased a home. The land you read about in the newspaper up at Beecher's Hope is now ours, and we are going to try our hand at ranching. Mr. Geddes kindly helped me buy the land. I met Uncle while I was coming out of the bank, and while I know your feelings about him, he has been enormously helpful in his own fashion. Charles Smith has also appeared and is unsurprisingly a pillar of strength. <laughs> Together, I love him. We've built you a home. I hope soon to show it to you. I miss you and the boy more than I can express. Please come back to me. Yours always, John. Something bad's gonna happen, I know it. God damn it, John, I really should have given you a haircut. That is a very nice house. Uncle, I thought you was... <laughs> Where the hell? Uh oh. 
Oh, gold! Oh! Hammer the nails with 80% accuracy. Fuck yeah. Where's uncle? Oh, is uncle dead? Bye, Zach. Oh, he's not dead. Just one time, I hope to find you working. Just once. Do you believe in reincarnation, John Martin? <laughs> no. Well, I hope and pray to whatever is out there that I get to come back as a youngin', so that when you're old and facing death, I can be some two-penny slave driver that comes along and hastens your journey into the grave. <laughs> This is a fatal condition I got. And I'll give you another fatal condition. We don't get on with things around here, and we'll all starve. Get on with what? Farming, ranching, planting something. Well, the only thing that this land's good for is grazing. Grazing? Yeah, so so cows, sheep, goats. Now, goats is easy, but they taste awful. I don't like goats. And cows, I've seen enough cows. Yeah, sheep then. But any livestock, you're going to need a barn. God Boy, damn it. Take three of us six months to build. Oh, you don't build a barn, dumbass. <laughs> you think this is 1785? <laughs> you buy one pre-cut just like the house. This is the industrial age. The lumber fellers all have them. That guy makes me hate the modern world. Oh, <laughs> come on. No, I'll I gotta go buy a them. barn, too? This I is... Ranching Simulator. Jesus Christ. In the black water. Let's go. Oh, I thought, uh. Now, this fella probably saw you. Thought, here's some corn husk idiot, some country room. Oh, God, wait for old uncle. Hurry the fuck up, uncle. Don't run off anymore, okay? Where were we? Doesn't know a pre-cut home from an outhouse. And I'm gonna rob him blind. <laughs> uh, I gotta respect him for it. Cause if I saw you walk into my lumberyard, I'd think exactly the same thing. He's so Thinking mean. Uh, I might actually do this on my own. Oh, I can't let you do that, John. Let you get robbed again? <laughs> oh no. You need someone with some sense to negotiate. And some charm wouldn't hurt neither. Uh, and that's you, is it? With your famous way with people? Ah, you're in enough debt as it is. I got to help you all I can. It's my debt. I'll handle it. Yeah, but if they foreclose on the debt, I'll lose my home. And I do so this like it here. there. You like it too much. You're far too comfortable. Ah, you ain't even got furniture. I was just going to ask about furniture. Okay, can't go in there. I thought that was the door. What are you percolating about? Get out of my way, uncle. And how are we? How's little Emily? Emily. What? I'm sorry. I've, uh, um, how are you? We need a barn. A barn? Of course you do. All them potatoes. We're gonna farm livestock. What's wrong with you? How many Scarface loons you got coming in here buying pre-cut homes? <laughs> here, uh, what you think? Uh, have a look. <laughs> Maybe that one. Yeah, that We're one. an excellent choice. We have a couple already cutting in stock. I'll have it sent to you in Blackwater. I'm down at Beecher's Hope. Oh, I'm sorry. Of course, this is my wife, Jerry. You see, she's out. But it, it's great seeing you again, Isle. Yeah, it's, and it's you, been sir. a pleasure as always. Great pleasure. Love your work. Of course. How are we going to pay for this? <laughs> Same way we pay for everything. I just wish I could help you, sir. You've been a good customer, and I like you, and David Geddes likes now, you. I, I, but this <laughs> man is very annoying. Can you just give me a few days? Of course. 
I really enjoy begging and watching you make a fool of yourself. Well, I... John! <gasps> hey! Is that Sadie Adler? <laughs> hey. John, how are you? Well, hello, Uncle. Nice to see you. Oh, and you too. Oh, shut up, you old creep. <laughs> Listen, Sadie, I... You got any work? I'm kind of desperate. Work? Hmm. How desperate? I need money. A bunch of money. My debt's climbing, and I... You up for a fight? Is it legal? <whistles> oh, it's very legal, but it's also pretty dangerous. With you, it'll be fine, but I wouldn't do it on my own. I ain't got much choice. All right, then. Come on. Come on! Look after him, Sadie. He's a delicate flower underneath. Tell the bank there's money coming in. And get a crew to help with that barn. I have it on good authority we can find this bounty at Painted Sky. I know the place. Okay, I'll follow you. All right, this Painted Sky tip is pretty fresh, but I don't know how long it'll... Okay, come on. By all means, continue. An encyclopedia salesman was up there on the property. Couldn't find the rancher, but saw a Mexican looking feller hanging around. Now, Ramon Cortez is around those parts, split up from his gang and stuck in West Elizabeth. It's gotta be him, holed up waiting on some out. And we're gonna get to him first. Sadie, hey, so who is this bounty? Ramon Cortez. He's with the Del Lobo gang. Yeah? You head back down to where we was, New Austin, you're bound to run into them. Are they Mexicans? Some, and some Californios. And some regular Americans, too. They're a misfit bunch. Just like we were. And they're friendly, I bet. <laughs> I gotta take to this fault. pelt off the back oh, of it's a bad Rachel. Situation out there. Burnings, killings, you name it. Not much law except the sheriff of Tumbleweed. He's making a hell of a go of it, but there ain't much there to hold back the chaos. It's real wild, that country. That ain't much of an advertisement for the place. It isn't somewhere I vacation. Don't get too far ahead. Well, I don't know why you were dilly-dallying, Sally. I mean, Sadie. <laughs> so, where was I? It isn't somewhere I vacation. But... It's something to behold. If you're inclined, you should take a look. You know, I had some trouble of my own. That gang you was talking about, was they the Skinner brothers? That's them. They ain't nice. Nice weren't what I heard about them. Got hold of this feller I'd hired. Ah, oh, he didn't die well. Mm, I'm sorry, Well, at least y'all. he didn't have to pay we him. Back. We was too slow, was all. I wish we'd done better for him. I'm sure you did the best you could. I've heard, well, oh, the kinds of things they do to men. Unspeakable things. I hope that's the last you see of them. Me too. But if not, I mean to be ready. That is wise. You want to hear something? I built my ranch house. Good for you. Did you make it out of straw bales? No. <laughs> it's one of them pre-cut ones. Me and Charles put it up, and Uncle watched and barked the odd order at us. It's solid, though. Real good and sturdy. This is painted sky up here. Looks quiet. Ramon Cortez, you better be here. Let's get down and take a look. You search that barn. I'll take the main house. Holler if you get him. Just in case. Ramon Cortez! We've come for you! Come calmly and nobody will- Oh! Uh, it'll all be over soon. You got him? You got him? So. He just tried to kill me. That's about right. 
Yeah, that's him. Come on. Let's get him to the sheriff. That seemed too easy. Come on, Ramon. Let's go for a ride. We're going to Rhodes. Rhodes? It's different there now. Uh, uh, that hurt. You want money? Gold? My men are meeting me at Dewberry Creek. Take me there. I'll pay you good. Better than any bounty. Oh, shut up. Don't drown him, Sadie. I hope John doesn't get tempted by that offer. That's a good question, Ash. Why didn't he shoot John from the corner? Oh, my hat's gone. It still gives me the creeps. Hit your horse up here. Arthur's hat. Did I know that he had this? He was wearing his other one for the longest time. Bring Cortez around the front for me, will you? I'll get them ready for you. Good work today. <laughs> That's a good point. Come on. I'll give you a hundred dollars to kill that bitch. Two hundred? Mr. Sheriff? Mr. Sheriff, we got Ramon Cortez. Cortez? Sure did. Well done, Hal. Found him hiding in a pile of shit. <laughs> That's about right. <laughs> How you doing, Ramon? Oh, just fine, mister. <sighs> hey, how much you want? How much any of you want? I'll give $2,000 in gold to whichever one of you sets me free. <laughs> I'm afraid it's a bit late for that, Ramon. You've been a real bad boy. Me and my boys are gonna ride you into San Denis and watch them hang you. <laughs> okay, okay, if you think so, mister. <laughs> oh, I know so, Ramon. Take a seat. Help me guard them till my boys arrive and we can get them out of here. I spent years cleaning up this town. Last thing I need is fools like this thinking they can take us back to the battle. Thank you, Maestro. Well, you and Ash, I'm sure job. something will go wrong. <laughs> and we won't end up building a barn. Uh-oh. Thank you, Joseph. Uh oh. Oh, Sheriff Thomas, Sheriff Thomas. We want our friend back. Uh oh. You have about ten seconds, Sheriff Thomas, before we kill all of you fools. One. Don't be a dumb bastard. Is that Micah? Good town now. Three. Let him have it, boys. He's gone. He's gone. <gasps> uh, well, we brought him in. 
Now pay us what's owed. He ain't here now, madam. I don't get paid unless he makes it to San Denis. Oh my you god. Get shocked today as well as Rob, mister? Are you threatening me? Why would we bother threatening you? Get him back and I'll get your money. And another fifty dollars besides. A hundred dollars. Seventy-five. I can't go higher. Done. Let's go, Jim Milton. <laughs> Come on. God damn it. I just have Where bad memories of roads. He said there were men meeting him at Dewberry Creek. Let's start by looking there. Sure. You've had some bad luck with bounties being stole off of you. And you're about to have some bad luck with getting punched in the face. <laughs> he got stole off both of us. Someone must have talked. Ugh, one of his boys, maybe. We were sitting ducks. Waiting all that time in that Jim Crack jailhouse? Yeah. Yes, we were. I don't like it. The sheriff's done a lot to bring Rhodes into line since the time of the Greys and Braithwaite's, but clearly he ain't done enough. So you think we can trust him? Yeah. He'll pay up when we come back with Cortez. He's a decent fella. If we come back with Cortez? We're coming back with him. Don't you worry about that. I love that it's the epilogue thing, isn't it? is a lot it's of Charles and a lot of Sadie. dollars from a sheriff who might be crooked himself to go get a bounty. But we won't take $2,000 from an outlaw just to let him go. If that kind of offer is tempting to you, then go right ahead. But not when you're on one of my jobs. I never said I was tempted by it. I just said it was an odd thing. How we'd take money from one but not the other. Everyone's got to choose what they're loyal to. Themselves, God, the state. If a bounty hunter wants to last, the loyalty's got to be to the one that's issuing the bounties. Plain and simple. I got a reputation for honest work. So, everyone with a price on their head deserves it, you think? Sure. No, I don't know, usually. If I got into who deserved what, second guess every poster, I'd tear out all my hair before I put a rope on anyone. If the price is high enough, you got to trust there's a reason they said it. I hope that rationale works out for all of us. Hold up. Down there. Fire. I'd wager that's them. Stay on the road. Let's find a good vantage point. I'm following you, Sadie. Up here. Come on. I think there's an old water mill by the creek bed. There it is. Keep some distance. We need to take a good look at him before we do anything. Whoa! Let's go up. Oh, we get to climb, eh? They must be camping down there. Why are they hanging around? Probably waiting for a boat. Uh, there's supposed to be a storm coming through, so maybe that's delayed them. Perhaps. So what do we do now? I'm gonna go get them. You. Me. You just cover me. I ain't getting you killed out there. But it's okay for you. I, I want to die. And besides, those bastards don't look that tough. Sadie. They look asleep as far as I can tell. I'm gonna go. You sure about this? Just don't seem right. Oh no. This is my show, John Marston. Bye, Ivy, Do thank you. you. Goddamn told. And shoot well. Uh. Hey! Damn it, Sadie. Oh, you son of a bitch. Who? 
this guy still alive? I shot you in the face! Oh god. What are you doing? Get out of there! I said, get out of there! Easy, easy, girl! Oh, you gave up easy a long time ago. Hey, look out. There's more of them coming. Hey! Estoy aquí! Shut your gut oh. mouth! Oh god. I don't have any more. They keep coming! Might just be. Son of a yes, or if you like it, you're welcome to stay. <laughs> so, what were you saying? Well, that's that then. Help me load this fool on the horse. A lot of crazy bastards. Seems Mexico's a tough place. Too tough for you, John Marston. I'd stay well clear. Oh, I mean to, Mrs. Adler. Ah. Oh, Sadie's horse is named Hera. Collected this bounty. Second time lucky. What do you think, Cortez? <laughs> you got any more surprises up your sleeve? You, you're a dead woman. And you are a dead man. The, the Lobos will not forgive this. <laughs> Wherever you hide, we will find you. And we will kill you. You and anyone who is close to you. I preferred it when you was offering money. Oh, you want money? Lady, hurry up, man. Okay, we're doing this together. Come on. So, 
you were just talking about something. Oh, you let me go? I'll forget about all this. You see, Ramon, what we got here is a trust issue. Oh, I'm good for it. You're tied up on a horse, about to be taken to San Denis to hang. Are we going you to San Denis? I don't want to go to San Denis. Of course, because all you can do is swear. But you're just saying anything you think might get you out of this. Ramon, I couldn't trust you to pay me. I couldn't trust you not to kill me. Hell, I couldn't even trust you to kill me, if that's what we agreed. What the hell are you talking about? I got gold, woman. Mr. Gold, $5,000. John? Well, I hope you left it to someone in your will. Because you ain't going to find much use for it in the short time you got left. I damn you, woman! Damn you! Oh, I've been damned a long time, my friend. Relax, mister. We ain't got far to go. Oh, you made a big mistake. Both of you! You should have took the money. You should have taken it. Now, now we're gonna come for you. I promise you that. We're gonna come for you! Well, I hope they know just where to find me. Because I'll enjoy the fight. I like the fight, Ramon. The bodies are all still here. Here we are. Back again. Looks like. I gotta pick him up off our horse. Easy. Get him down. The sheriff better move him quick this time. Big mistake. Real big mistake. I'll see you again. We got him, Sheriff. We got him. I knew you'd be back, Ramon. You just can't get enough of me. Put them in the wagon for me, would you? How's the jail? Needs to get fixed. Why would you up undo his feet? This nice man blew a hole in it. Yeah. Me and the boys will ride him to San Denis right away this time. Come along, Cortez. Sheriff, before you go. Money. I'll pay you when I deliver them. Oh. Plus seventy-five dollars. Exactly. Now goodbye. Let's go, boys. I'll see you soon, amigos. Shut up. <laughs> Thanks for this, John. You send my money to the bank for me. Of course. I'm supposed to be retired from this. <laughs> this? For nothing. Just a simple arrest. Money for old rope. If you say so. See you around, partner. You think I'll have a barn? <gasps> I have a barn! I have a barn! You'll be fine, girl. Stay put. He actually did work. Thank you so much for watching the video and if you enjoyed it please don't forget to like comment and subscribe i am earnestly pushing for youtube partner now which means i need to get this channel to a thousand subs so if you're watching this and you're not subscribed please consider pushing that little red button down below as always if you want to watch this or any other story-based game first playthroughs live on my twitch channel i stream sundays wednesdays and every other fridays at 8 p.m eastern at twitch.tv slash oh that natalie Thank you so much again for watching. Bye.